Hi Floss Tube. It's been a while again. It is October the 30th, 2017. Five stitcher back for Floss Tube number nine, nearly at the double digits. I, as you can see, tried to be somewhat organised for this. It's not happening. I mean, you can you can see the the sort of pile and pulling out everything to do this video. My stitchy corner's now in a mess. I'm trying not to look that way because that whole area's just pulled out when I was looking for stuff. And so I'm going to have a nice job tidying that up before I go and get the kids from school. So, hi. Sorry it's been a while again. Um, things were just busy. Last week, I had planned on doing one last week. But the lovely Fife Council have decided that they are extending the path out the back on that side um, to make it a pedestrian and bike path, which is fine. Not many people walk around that path. Can't say I've seen a huge amount of bikes going round, but hey, it'll make it easier if I take the kids to school on their bikes. Um, I'll just bring them back on that new path but they have been at it now for a month maybe um and they did their first saturday i'm i'm guessing i'm i'm entirely sure that they have done uh, their slowest i mean honestly every time i've driven past they haven't been doing very much and all of a sudden they've done a saturday which they'll be getting paid nice overtime for and yeah they got a whole a big section done they worked faster on the Saturday than I've seen them working the other few weeks but it's now moved from being directly out the back there which was causing a lot of noise to it's shifted round the corner so I'm not hearing it quite as much but it was causing a lot of hassle shall we say because the dogs were reacting to every little bit of noise that was going on outside vehicles going beep 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 as the reverse sets the dogs off something rotten so it wasn't very enjoyable um, so at least the noise has settled down a bit so I can try and get this done um, I've got a couple of videos I'll add in I've got uh, the little video I'd made for the September um, artist trading card for Adele I'll add that on at the end and I've got the October one as well which I have sent I don't know if it's with the person yet I, I would assume it I would hope it will be there in the next few days but it was winging its way to the States so hopefully it won't be too long getting across there but I did put a track on it so hopefully it should come, it should be okay. Um, but I'll put the little video of that on, I'm not entirely sure if um, Angie who's uh, getting it um, watches my channel but I'll, I'll put up the video and hopefully hopefully she doesn't but if she does Angie I'm sorry but I'm better putting it up because I also forget next time um I'm going to do a little show of the needle keep one I've I've got it ready to send uh, to send I haven't heard um from uh, the girl that I was switching with so do you know what I'm just going to film it I'm going to show you guys it and then I'm going to put it in the poster if I don't get mine, I don't get mine. Not kidding. Um, so, life-wise, um, job was fairly busy last month. Um, my boss um, had gone on holiday for three weeks. Um, so yeah, things were a bit hectic and sort of settling into the new role of being the manager. It was a bit, it was a bit stressful, but I kind of managed to keep it together and my boss got good reports back from both staff and um, higher up managers that I, I'd coped well with the job so hopefully it's fine and um, I've been off on annual leave for the past couple of weeks the kids were off the first week and then last week I've tried to catch up on um, getting the rooms tidied and what have you I spent a whole day tidying my room we'll go into that one later but um, yeah, I, ha I haven't been at my work so I'm a little bit less stressed now and 
um, back to work on Thursday night, so night shift for the weekend, so I need to decide what I'm going to take as my carry around project for that week. Um, just in case you're wondering, we do still have Brody. I'm not going to make a fuss of bringing him through because um, it does get our older dog Scotty a little bit jealous because he sees the younger dog getting um, a little bit more attention. But we've got Spike and Lucy with us again today, so um, they're nice and settled through in the kitchen. I'm just going to leave them nice and settled in the kitchen. Um, whips. I'd put in my little notes that I'd made when I'd been planning to do this last week that I've made little progress but actually <laughs> when I've actually been gathering everything up and I'm hoping I've got everything I've actually done a fair amount where I find the time for it I don't know but I have done a fair amount and actually there's one there's another little project that I've been carrying around at points and I don't know where I've left it just now it might well be in my bag but I can show you that one next time because hopefully it'll be finished. So let's get started. I'll start with under the sea cause, just because it's on the top. Um, so I had to actually watch my last video, needles falling off, um, to see where I was. So I'm just going to pull it all apart because I had moved the cue snap without thinking. Um, but the last time I had just about finished the stingray and I've got him finished so that's it all so far um, and the, the, obviously I've got September's going in there which is the turtle and then uh, October's one going in there which is the um, person with the treasure chest so I am looking forward to stitching them I just, I've been paying more, more attention to the Christmas at home, so I'll, I've not left myself enough room to do any stitching on that bit. Um, yeah, I just decided, I, w I just got right into the Christmas at home one, so I did a lot more work on that one. Um, and I might actually concentrate on doing the Christmas at home one and then finish this one off in the new year. We shall see. I mean, I don't think I'll be finished the Christmas at home one before Christmas, but we can live in hope. Um, the next one, and you're not going to actually, I will unwind it a bit. Um, the uh, Celtic Autumn, obviously, if you've watched before, um, you'll have seen them. If you haven't watched before, I shall show you. So I am doing the Celtic Autumn, but I am doing the alternate colours. One of the versions of the alternate colours. And I can't find the other picture. There it is. So, originally she was designed in the purple and the greens with the gold. And I'm doing the browns and greens and oranges. And I'm just going to release this a little bit because I have moved the, the frame up. Now I'm going to show you a tip, tip that my mother gave me just before I unwind it. Kitchen towel. When you're using roller frames and you've got the beads and obviously if it's tight against the, the frames you run the risk of cracking the beads. But I've got a couple of bits of kitchen towel just doubled over and wrapped around and as that wraps more it'll cover the beads and protect them and give them a bit of cushioning so there's a tip for you I'm not going to get that undone I'm going to take that it's going to come out eventually there we go so I got that middle section done um, just the way I'd photocopied the, the pattern. So I've got all the beading done in this middle section. I've got all the gold done and I've got I've filled in the floor address and I'm moving down the way because I had already done a bit going down the way where it was overlapping and the colours finished. So um, yeah, I need to get back to stitching her. 
But I've just got so many things that I want to work on. Put that up again. And come on. So yeah. I mean, they don't usually take me too long once I get started, but obviously that was in the days when I only did one whip at a time. I'm doing a bit more than that just now. So, other whips that you will have seen. Uh, I have the Christmas at home one. I'm going to take that out. Take it out of the Q snap and let you see where I've got to. So I think I, I think I've done. I don't think I'd quite finished the attic the last time, but I've got the attic finished, and um, the first room, which was the bathroom. Um, I've made no changes to the design, so all the colours on mine are the called for colours. Um, I've got most of it done. So. One of my mum's friends has started doing the lakeside stitch along. She started with the under the sea cell. She has purchased this one, but she hasn't started it. So I gave her a tip that I'm going to give you guys that maybe haven't even got this far. If you've got further than this, then you maybe already picked up on it. So I had not done any of the back stitching around the border. I just decided to get started on the rooms. So I did the attic room. And then I decided just because of where the Q-snap was sitting, I got the back stitching done on the roof um, just after I'd done the back stitching in the actual room. And as I came down, so I sort of finished the roof and started coming down the brickwork and stopped because I actually didn't think about where, you know, the stitches, because the stitches go right up to the brick wall bit. Um, so if I was to do the back stitching down the wall I would then be going over it again with crosses which I, you know I, I then felt I might well end up having to re-back stitch it probably not because my, my stitches aren't that bad um, and the bit that I did do I haven't had to redo but I would advise if you're doing like the back stitching on the border before you do any rooms leave the bricks until you've done the room that's adjoining them. Um, it'll just make it slightly easier, in my opinion. Um, but personally, I would leave it till the, till you've done it and then just do all the back stitching for that area at the one time. Get that back together. So that's where I'm up to in that. Um, and I probably will just that probably will be the one that I take to work. We'll see. I'll, I'll see how I feel as well. And I'm, I'm working on coming up with some kind of rotation plan as well. So we'll see what happens. Um, I decided to... I saw someone else was working on Maggie the Messmaker. So I've got her back out. I've got her back on a frame. And I have started the back stitching. So I've literally got that top corner there done. Um, just a bit along the bookshelf, uh, the basket, this little sewing basket bit and the sampler. So that's all the back stitching there. Um, and I'm just swithering. And I did, there was a little bit of this sort of brown going round the inside of this hoop here. So I just did that while I was using that colour. Um, and I'm just swithering whether to go down and finish this area here because I'll need to move the frame obviously to do further down or whether to just go across the top and work down that way. We'll see. But it literally took me that. That took me probably about six hours. Um, there was a, about three nights I spent a couple of hours on it just doing the back stitch. I don't like back stitch. I don't think many people like that stitch. Um, the sewing cats, I haven't done anything more on that than was in the previous video, so that just needs to get brought back out into rotation. I've just remembered there's another one that I've left 
sitting. I'll shift that one over. Um, I my ten a day one. I was so excited because I was nearly finished the three two one. In on the coat, and I swithered very hard about it because obviously there's more of the the three two one red in her hat. Um, I ended up I've just started the hat, so moved the Q snap up. I got her coat finished with the three two one, and I have started her hat. Um, had to go out and buy another skein of three two one because of all the doubles I've got. I did not have a double of that one. Um, and yeah, so fortunately the skein matches. There there doesn't seem to be a colour difference. I have figured it out roughly. I've got another two weeks going 10 stitches a day. Two weeks of 321 red to go before it's finished and then I can work on another colour. But yeah, I just decided to get it done because the chances of me wanting to go back and do it were slim. So yeah, she's she's coming along nicely. Obviously her face is going to be in here and her hair comes down the back um, and she's going to have a wee bubble on the top of her hat. Um, but yeah, I'm getting there. It's one of these things I keep looking at the pattern going, oh, did I, did I guesstimate it just right? But I think it's going to be just about right-ish by the end of the year because we've got 60 days to go. So yeah, it probably will work out. Just about right. We'll see. Um, but I've just remembered that I've not been telling you any of the materials. So the material for her is a Jodore. Um, it was one of the fabrics of the month from last year. And the name escapes me just now. Let me see if I've got my bit of paper it tells me. It's not in there. There it is. In the packet, woolen mittens, um, and the call for DMC threads. So, yeah, she's getting there. I am up to date with her. I'm just bored of the colour, which I think a few of you going by comments understand. What else have I got? I've had a few starts. One of them is one of the ones in fact no I do have it um yeah I've had a few starts I was itching I, just, I, I sat one evening and I wanted to stitch but I couldn't think what I wanted to stitch and it was driving me nuts and I decided to do a new start so I started on um, my first ever Mirabilia um, and I fell in love with her when I saw her last year. She was the Christmas one for last year's Miss Christmas Eve. So I got her and I got the embellishment pack and I've got all the, I need to get a little hook for these ones. I've got all the Karen water lilies um, for it. So that one's sable. I'm going to take them out of the packet. So she's got sable in her, which is sort of dark browns to light browns. And African Violet, which is a gorgeous purple. And as with all things, these videos never show them up, but it's variegated purples. Grape, which is here, which is sort of purpley reds. And the last one, which is really bright and pretty, which is Cardinal, which is bright red with uh, irrigation. So I haven't started using any of them yet. Um, but this is going to be my way. I'm going to do all my jewellery threads like this as well and have them in my floss away bags with the little card 
um, bobbins um, to wind down. I've got all my beads opened up for uh, some really pretty golds and reds and what have you. And there's two treasures as well. Um, when I ordered it from Crafty Kitten, she only they they'd sent the embellishment packs with only one of the treasure. So one came, and then I had a lot of difficulty finding um, another one. Every time I was looking for one, they were out of stock. I think I saw them on one two three stitch. But you're talking, it was going to be the postage was going to be about ten to 15 pounds forget that for one charm no so yeah i've got both of them there they're sort of a pinky purpley color they're quite pretty i eventually found that if anyone else in the uk is needing them because i have looked on crafty kitten and it's not come back in i've looked on so and so and it's not in stock cats x stitch .co .uk. i will try and remember and Put it in my links down below. Um, uh, yeah, because yeah, she she had them no problem at all. She also sells the bow and needles that I like, and yeah, she sells quite a few things. So ha have a look. But this is where I've got to her. Um, I sat down and did a bit more to her the other night. I'd done the green in the skirt here. And I started the red just last night, bring her in a bit. And my lovely needle minder is, I'm just going to check, he's upside down slightly. It's from Catherine. She's not going to do the face ones anymore, but it's Jamie from Outlander. Because I'm in love with him. Um, but yeah, uh, that's where I've got with her. And I'm just trying to think, there was something else I was thinking of. And it's one material, that's what I was thinking of. I am doing her on a Crafty Kitten material. It was the August 2016 Fabric of the Month limited edition, so there's not actually a name on it. And it's 28 count Jaslyn I'm doing her on. Um, so yeah, I mean, she's, she's stitching up quite quickly. I'm quite happy with that. So... We'll see how we get on with her, but that's my first Mirabilia. And then another new start was the Lizzie Kate Mystery Sal. So I can't show you a picture for obvious reasons because the first two parts are the only ones that I, I know there's quite a few of you doing this one. So I've got the top part finished off. I just need to put the two flowers in here and finish off the centres. And I've got down the sides uh, finished off as well and I'm doing them in the called for Weeks Dye Works colours. I'm just trying to think where I've put... Bear with me two seconds. I just have to think where I've put them. So the first part came with all the beads and the buttons and it's got buttons for the little extra bonus patterns that come in with it. And obviously I can't show you any of those pictures either because it's all the patterns. Um, and I've got all the week's dye works. And there's a new one that was brought out just for this one. <coughs> so this one's just been created whether it goes into the normal line afterwards I don't know but this new one here is called Oyster it's sort of a grey brown colour um, was created especially for the mystery sal um, so in that one and I'm stitching it on Sparklies, it's not got a name either. It's a 28 count Brittany, and I'm doing it, yeah, just the fabric of the month special. I've not even got when it was, um, but it's a nice sort of dusky pink colour. 
term. I swithered between that and a neutral colour, but I decided that I liked the the, the dusky pink better than the, <coughs> the neutral. I should have had a drink here, my throat's getting dry. So there was that start. Another new start I did was um, the free speciality stitches from Lakeside. Um, I have got part one finished and I've started on part two. I think the part five just came out on Friday there. It's been coming out every Friday, so I am quite a bit behind. <coughs> there are lots of people that are fairly up to date with it. Um, I'm quite enjoying it when I get the chance to sit down, but I have to concentrate because it's not like doing your cross stitch where you just, right, I'm just doing crosses, so I'm going one way, I'm going back. This one you kind of have to pay attention. It came with suggested colours um, of DMC um, colours. I think they did it in pinks, which I didn't really like. It was just me. So I decided to, I'm doing it obviously on hand dyed. I'm doing it on a jewellery and I can't remember the name off hand. Or do I have it? I do have it, look. Um, Pink Angel Fish, it was the August uh, 2017 fabric of the month for the pastels range. It was quite pretty and I'm using all jewellery um, variegated threads as well. Um, I just literally picked up what I fancied. Um, and some of the stitches are quite tricky but once you've done them a couple of times because <clears throat> it is pretty much if you if you turned it round all the stitches are going to end up going the same way um, so it's fairly repetitive so once you've done it a couple of times you're kind of up on it and you're just going round <clears throat> but I am liking the effect I'm getting from the, the variegated so um, yeah that's one to do when I've got time to concentrate I'm doing it as I said in all jewellery um, colours so I'll show you them just now so spare ones just in case I'm using Peacock Butterfly which is the pinks and purples and a little bit of orange in it <clears throat> I'm using um, Melonia Paradise Moth which has got a bit of blue going through it, blues and pinks and oranges. I'm using Captain Caveman, which is the greys and oranges and some browny colours. And Figgy Pudding, which I think was the Christmas colour last year, or one of them anyway. Um, can I get that focus way? Probably because I'm in the way. Um, which is sort of greens and pinks. I just literally picked up what I liked and got on with it. <clears throat> so we'll see how that one comes out. And my other new start is for Tracy P's birthday. I'm going to show it because she knows I'm doing it. I did a whack load on it last night. <coughs> because for whatever reason <clears throat> Facebook had decided it didn't need to tell me about event notifications. When I look, went looking for my events section on my Facebook app, it's buried way down the list. I had to even press the show more. When it used to be right at the top, it's now way down at the bottom, which I find ridiculous. It's just updated again this evening, so we'll just see. Or this evening, this morning. So we'll see if it's changed there. I'm just going to tag in the thread. <clears throat> so anyway, I needed to get 700 stitches done um, in just about in just a few hours. So I did the border. The border and finishing off that mug and doing that mug gave me 703 stitches. There you go. Because I'd already done a bit of the border so I couldn't count that in. But it's Brouhaha, it's a free pattern from <coughs> Plum Street Samplers. You can find it online. Um, and he's, he's quite enjoyable to stitch. I hate it. I mean, honestly, the lines of doing one colour there um, bugged me slightly. But he's moving a bit quicker now that that's done. 
He's getting stitched on Sol from Chromatic Alchemy. I think it was one of the pieces I had for Fabric of a Month from her, but you can get it on <clears throat> the website because I've ordered some more of the opal because I liked it. Um, but yeah, I liked the, the orange and the yellow effect. Um, so I've just got the alphabet up the top to do and then there's sort of a tree thing coming up here which I've started in the bottom here um, with leaves and then some steam coming out the coffee mug um, and then I'll get him ready to go to Tracy and I've got some other bits and pieces that I'm sending to her as well so that'll keep you excited Dom. So needle minder I'm using is obviously my little pony and it's from Needle Keep Emporium. So hopefully get that finished and I think <clears throat> I think I'm right in saying October the 30th I'm sure it came up with notification that it was our birthday today so happy birthday Tracy I hope you're having a good one because she's going to Disney World so she's having a better birthday than I get um what else I don't th I think that's everything I've been working on so I'm going to move on to but I'll move on to showing you the needle keep that I made <coughs> for a girl called Lisa. So I'm just going to get it all bundled up. I just had to re-iron it because a little bit had come loose. <coughs> so I've done there's a little um, butterfly uh, that I used. Uh, I think it was the called for DMC colours. And then this thread here, and I, for the life of me, I can't remember what colour it was, um, is a jewellery thread, which pretty much perfectly matched the colours used in the butterfly. Um, so it's a variegated um, thread. Um, and then I've done the back, um, just the same square pattern on the back um, with her name done in it. Um, and then... <coughs> I've used the iron on fusible backing so it's like a double sided iron on so you obviously leave the paper copy on so I ironed the, the stitch part on and then cut the fleece the fleece <clears throat> it's the felt I knew it began with F I knew it began with F um, but ironed the felt on the other side. Did a little tiny bit of cording, I don't know if you're going to see that um, there, with the thread that I had used for the, the boxes. Um, just corded it up, tied it off and I've used it as the loop. And stuck a little button on and it does close up. Um, so yeah, I'll get that sent in the post to her with the bits and pieces that I got for her as well um, that's, so that's a, another finish I'll put on the, the videos for the two artist trading cards I've got next month to work on but I kind of know what I'm doing and then the following months I can't remember I need to check and see if it's a normal sized card or an artist trading card. If it's a normal size card, I know exactly what I'm doing. I think it, I think it's one of the ones it could be either or. So I think I'll be doing a normal sized, and I know just what I'm going to do. I'm not sharing it here. Um, I'm going to throw this uh, the, the jewellery Christmas pattern from last year back into the mix, and try and get it done as well because I really need to to get it done I just stopped working on it because it wasn't Christmas anymore um, but that's where I'd got to when I've stopped I'm trying to show you that um, so yeah that, that needs to come back into rotation there's really not that much left to do just need to finish the candy canes along here um, <clears throat> and I think there's gingerbread men down this side I think 
and there's yeah there's a few bits to go in down here so yeah there is a bit to do but we'll get it done i'm using all the cold for <coughs> jewelry threads so i've got them all here but my favorite one in the mix is called argentine tango which is that gorgeous red which comes out which is in that the bow right along there which is just gorgeous and the material i am stitching that one on is uh, mermaid's tail opal Brittany 28 count from jewelry as well um, which i think was the called for fabric correct me if i'm wrong but i think it was the called for fabric and all the called for jewelry threads <clears throat> the only ones that aren't jewelry are the black that's there which means i've just found a spare 310 that's been sitting doing nothing for a year and a b5 200 so we'll get that one added back into the mix so haul in my last video i had talked about um get this starting this one up with soulful stitching um <clears throat> sampler thing in january um and i had said that um i was sure i'd ordered material but i couldn't remember where from i'd ordered it from pole stitches <clears throat> and it literally ra arrived the, the day after the video i was like it did not have arrived the day of the video that would have helped but it came from pole stitches and it is called egyptian it's a 32 count belfast linen and i saw it on the website and i fell in love with it and i'm i'm glad i did because it's really quite pretty but it's sort of this old world brown looking material but look, i'm gonna have to stand up with this it is huge i mean you can't it's down to my knees it's huge huge bit of material so i hate to think how big that sampler is going to be huge so i've got that to start at some point i haven't started any of the other samplers i've got i think i've started enough <clears throat> this last month i've got that um of course dmc brought out their new colors and yeah went for the tint got two of them on the pretext that one will be for my daughter's christmas maybe um the one that came from so and so didn't come in a nice neat condition this is the one i got from lakeside which is probably actually slightly cheaper and it was better packaged as well so it's got this little card that comes with all the details and comes with and I'm going to give you a quick flash pattern <clears throat> that you can use your new threads on. They fixed their problem, they put bubble wrap in it <clears throat> because the other one came, the threads were all over the place but I'm sure a lot of you have seen all the pretty new colours, they are gorgeous, these purples are just so pretty. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting patterns to use them in because they're just so nice to stroke. I'm just, just open the tin and stroke. Um, so yeah, got that done. And then there was the bag of the month from So Much To Love. A little fall one with pumpkins and birds with look I haven't eaten the chocolates yet came with chocolates and I've lost a bit of paper that tells me what's what there's my my daughter's measuring tape that I've pinched back because I couldn't find any of my measuring tapes but it comes with this chenille um, material and a little pumpkin button and it came with a, a pattern that you could use the, the button on as well and I put it somewhere safe and I don't know where I've put it. A pretty bag. And the sign ups, I don't know if she's full yet, <clears throat> but she did put up the sign up page. So if you go to the So Much to Love Facebook page, she has got sign up, a, a sign up post, and you just answer questions and it gives you the, the different options 
um, for what you want um, to buy if you want to go in the club. As I was saying last week I decided to tidy out my room um, and I think in my last video I talked about scissors and about you couldn't have enough scissors and yeah I tidied out my room and I found about six pairs of scissors. Six. I really don't need any more but you'll you get a laugh in a minute but I find some needle minders that I'd obviously put away in my drawers so I've got a nice poppy one so I'll bring that out because it's Remembrance Day in a couple of weeks um, it's from uh, Needle Keep Emporium obviously and I've got the Old World Map one why I'd put them in the drawers upstairs I've no idea I've also got these ones that came from I'll bring away this little packet so I can get the card not from Catherine but I did fall in love with them when I see them when I saw them um, needle minder obsession um, on Etsy and I got Harry Potter and I'd got these a while ago so I don't honestly know if she's still there and it I specifically got it because it was another dragonfly I've already got one from Catherine but it was a, a dragonfly and it was kind of the Celtic it's almost got Celtic knot pattern to it so um, yeah falling in love with that uh, better put that with I've just remembered you know, tidy things up as you go jewellery thread bubbling cauldron from last uh, last October I'm sure it was the thread of the month yeah October 16 bubbling cauldron that's the colour I'm going to do the letters on Ruhaha because I want to. Um, I don't know if I've shown these to you before. I'm going to cover up my address. Uh, these are the uh, by the Geeky Stitching Company. Com. Um, they ship to the UK. So you know, in the states, they have their stitchy box. And they get a little bit of material and whatnot. It comes all wrapped with tissue and you get three patterns try to bring them out so they don't show you and this month's one are bakers so Adele can you tell where I'm getting my inspiration from this month there you go they came at just the right time um, and there's hot dogs and I like this quote be a rainbow coloured cupcake in a world full of boring beige muffins you can see better than that and I know you can see the pattern shining through but really if you've got the technology to do that, you don't need to be copying a cross stitch pan. Um, it also comes with a little hoop. Um, came with a spare bit of material so you can do another one of the stitches and uh, some DMC 3846 for this one. <clears throat> and then it gives you the material and a th needle and the thread on a little card ready to do one of the the projects. I think I think it's for the main one but it would it would stitch up any of them but I think yeah I think it just I think it's for the, the main pattern. Um, but I, I recommend that I recommend going on and it comes up quite like this because it's like it says Lorna's Club box. And so they're all individual for whoever. So you know stitching you know stitching stuff and it's a pretty box and I think someone can correct me if I'm wrong I think it's 11 pounds a month for that it's not it's not drastic um I'm trying to think what else I think I think that's about it apart from what I've been making because I haven't made any more project bags um, but I was sitting the other day and um, what I've been wanting to do is make um, covers for my, my not not just like the top covers to cover the, the stitching when I'm stitching on them I'm wanting to make covers to go round them and cover them fully and I have been searching YouTube, I think I've found one video um, 
that someone was showing you how you put it on but it didn't actually show you how to make one so trial and error it's not the neatest I kind of forgot that I would need extra for overlap and measured it round and did it and then thought oh I need more so yeah it's got like it's got like a partition on it but I made a scroll rod cover which I've put some little bits of velcro on and bring it off it's got my frosted pumpkin and you can see I have not done anything on that for months <clears throat> so far behind but I got this gorgeous <clears throat> thick I think it's actually I don't know if it's meant to be actually upholstery material but it's really thick and it's really really nice um, I like the colour so did that here's the section where so my first time trying Rick Rack which obviously went a bit wrong at this corner um, but this was me sewing the two bits of material to make it a bit longer I still needed to make it a bit longer it's only just meeting and no more um, and then I had this orange material that my mum had given me from her stash um, and then you know obviously just sewed the two bits together made it a tube it wraps round and it covers so I'm gonna now I know what I'm doing a little bit I'm going to do it for all of my scroll rods because I've got a few of them um, and that's that and I did make one other thing that I forgot to bring over people on my Instagram page will have seen this um, I had talked about this in one of my uh, earlier videos uh, it was getting covered in dog hairs already um, uh, my round robin piece um, that I had planned to make into a cushion I finally found um, a YouTube that showed me how to make it the way I wanted to make it that's all the threads just falling off the table sorry I'm gonna have fun cleaning that up as well um, so yep got some material that I had in stash so let me check it's up the right way it is up the right way so I've got my stitched piece in the middle and then I've got this red piece in the border because I felt it pulled out the, the red there <clears throat> and the purple to pull out the purple my mom had suggested sort of oranges or yellows but it just yeah you, you pull too much of the yellow out and I think using the other colours pulls the yellow out a bit more and makes it a little bit more subtle and then it's a full envelope cushion cover as well and um, the one I found is really deep so the, there's no gape at the back and it was so easy once I followed it it was so easy to, to pick it up so I'm going to put a link to that as well. It was by um, Alanda Crafts. It's called the Easy Envelope Cushion Cover. And it really is easy. It, it, you know, if I could do it, and I am so chuffed with it, anyone can do it. And I'll, I'll certainly be doing more. I'm already actually planning to do the Christmas at Home sale and turning that into a cushion as well. Um, and I found another cross stitch. The other day and I've gone and left it up the stairs and I'm not going running for it. Um, I'd finished it a couple of years ago and I'd put it somewhere safe you know in that elusive safe place in your bedroom and I found it when I was cutting out and I was like ah! So I'm turning that into a cushion. So stash that I have bought obviously I bought the DMC threads I bought the two books to go with it. Um, so that was the cross stitch one and then there's an embroidery one as well um, for using the new threads with um, and then for my <coughs> card making group I've got some I got some perforated paper because I didn't have any so I got just a wee stash I've got some lavender one um, a brown one and, and I think I've got two of the beige ones so I've got plenty of that I um, went to the craft show in Glasgow on Thursday last week and got a few things there. Um, this 
stuff that's dropped on the floor. Um, didn't really need thread, but I just got um, I got a couple of B5 200s and 310s because they're usually the ones that get used the most. Um, cross stitch wise, I bought the um, the angels. Design crafts. Um, there's beads, um, but it comes with a perforated paper and the beads and the threads. So I'll make some of them up um, at some point. Just quite like that. There's a new one from Dimensions. I cross stitch so I don't kill people. Probably not use the called for threads that they've put in. It's in the packet, but I'll probably use variegated for that. And then I got this book, uh, Magical Cross Stitch. There's some fairly similar to the the Joan Elliott book I've got, um, but there were bits and pieces that I thought might come in handy. I mean, the Silhouette Fairies are quite quite nice, and I might use them for little pieces. Let's see uh, what else did I get? Yeah, <clears throat> got a little cupcake design which came just before my stitchy box came. I um, got some more card bobbins um, because I'll need them for sorting my threads out. And I got some Krennic because it wasn't too badly priced so I got, I don't know the name of them, got 153 which is that sort of ready colour. And then I got um, this lovely variegated one zero nine five. So I'm pretty much up to date with DMC thread, so I'm building up my Krynek ones now. Zero three two, which is sparkly sort of silver. It's coming white there, but it's more silver. And I got zero two three, which is sort of a a dusky pink rather than a purple, dusky pink. And 021, which is a bronzy colour. And then I discovered this one when I got home. I'd, I just picked it up because I like the bright colour. Uh, 054F. It is actually the glow in the dark. Krennic. So that might come in handy for things. And then just because I fell in love with them and I like the colour and the pattern on them, I bought another pair of scissors. My mantra when I went was, I must not buy scissors. I do not need scissors. I do not need scissors. And I messaged the girls later and went, I bought scissors. Um, sewing wise, and mostly what I bought, that, that was pretty much all the, sti the cross stitchy stuff I bought really didn't buy much more cross stitchy stuff and just double checking but I didn't no I bought a lot of sewing stuff for doing bags and what have you but this kit here I'm going to make up a new one I've got material for it it's a little sewing tidy and I have one here from years ago that my mum bought me for my Christmas <clears throat> she didn't made it, make it up it already came ready made um, so this has all the card and everything in it for <clears throat> making it solid. The pin cushions come off of this. I use this next to my sewing machine. Um, put all the pins in and stuff. Um, so I'm going to make myself a new one. I hope. Um, I've got double sided sticky tape. Because I'm always losing it. Um, I've got some pretty lace border that was it was enough you, you were getting it was like everything was a pound or you were getting 12 items for 10 pounds i didn't need 12 items but like the double sided sticky tape the other ones already getting used um you were getting two of them for the pound and i got some nicely colored buttons they're the little um santori girls the, uh, those kind of colors and i've got some ribbons Come in handy for things, and then I got uh, some more 
I'm going to bring this off a bit, uh, lace for doing bags and stuff. Putting it in properly. Um, that was at a button shop and then I got a load of buttons which was at Buttons Inc um, <clears throat> and I have actually discovered she's on Etsy so look her up but Buttons Inc if you're looking for buttons um, but I got some little love heart ones some green love heart ones and red love heart ones and little Christmas trees and multicoloured Christmas trees and some spotty hearts and some stars and then a mixed bag of coloured flowers and I got some big ones so I'm going to use pink one I've got a couple of the pink one um, I'm going to put one on the back of my cushion and then um, blue ones that I'm going to use for the Christmas at home one, possibly. And then I've got some absolutely gorgeous material off a couple of stands. <clears throat> so the stand where I got the pattern from, I also picked up the material. So that's the material, jump the right way. That's the material I'm going to put on my little sewing tidy thing. And then I saw this patchworky type one. So I'm going to use that one for bag probably. And then I got this marbled orange one that I'll do for an inside bit. Um, and then this material. Now my mum's already apparently bought this material for my aunt <coughs> who's going to make a bag up. But I've got thistles. So I've got the purple. And I've got the grey. And then my cross stitch that I've left up the stairs, it's a little dog pattern I'm going to make into a cushion. I was kind of thinking of doing it because the picture itself is kind of plain and I thought about doing like tartan round the side. And I find this one that I'm going to use for the backing, which is dogs. And it's kind of almost a tartan effect. So I've got enough to do the back of that. And then I liked this... Um, is it the acorn leaves, I think it is, is it? Um, that come twirling down, call them helicopters over here, because they twirl down to the ground. Um, so I've got that for an insert material, and I'm all fell in love with the brown one as well. And then this is the most gorgeous. My mum wants this, so I might end up having to make something for my mum with it. But hedgehogs with swirly leaves. Absolutely gorgeous. And then this is going to be the backing material for my Christmas at home sal. I swithered about what colour, I thought maybe a blue, but then it's blue on the front and I decided to go with red. And I decided to go with this material because it was in their Christmas section and that's meant to be Santa's footprints and the reindeers and the elves all swirling around, which I thought would be nice because it's Christmas. I'm just trying to think what else I got. Some more material of another shop, which was, if I'm right, Patchwork Cottage. It was, yep. And it was mostly insert material that I got, so for like in the inside of bags. So I got some buttons, some beigey love hearts, and I got it in the green as well. Um, just got a bit of gold around the love hearts and then some purple and some peach so I did get enough of stuff um, just not much cross stitch and stuff but to be honest there really wasn't that much cross stitch and stuff I would have, you know if, if you don't mind looking at other crafts go to the craft shows in Glasgow but I think there was literally three stalls there that sold cross stitch and to be honest, there wasn't any patterns there that, I, you know, that, that jumped out at me saying, buy me, buy me. Um, I just got the book and those little ones that I saw and I could have, to be honest, I could have just looked online and got them. Um, it wasn't, it's not like the old days where you used to go around and see, you know, quite a few stalls showing off the lavender and lace uh, made up ones. You just don't see them. 
these days. The, I mean, the only two that had actual finishes up were um, the Black Sheep and Duket. I think that's what they're called. Um, but they they were mostly selling like their pixel, like the diamond paint and stuff, which really I wasn't into. Um, so yeah, that's everything. Mostly what I've bought has been sewing stuff. Um, I've not really bought a lot of cross stitchy stuff. Um, and I think that's about it. I mean, we're running it an hour now, so I've got to try and upload this to the computer and um, edit it to a degree and get it on. And hopefully it won't take too long to upload. The last one, after all the hassle as I'd had, it literally took, it still took four hours to upload. I don't know why. I don't know if it was having the pictures in it made it a bit longer. I really don't know. We'll see if this one goes a bit quicker, but I'll just have to say, you'll see it when you see it because, you know, I think it, I think it's got a lot to do with the internet speed and trying to use things today. The internet around here isn't working properly and I don't know if that's got to do with what they're doing outside and maybe their effect on the phone lines. I don't know. Um, so hopefully it won't take too long and I will try very hard not to leave it quite so long the next time and I will try to get organised. I'm trying to formulate a plan for um, rotation. I'm thinking of numbering my way, main whips because it wouldn't be the first time I've sat down of an evening and thought right I'm ready to stitch and then I don't know what I want to stitch on and there's nothing grabbing my fancy and I don't have anything ready to just start. So I'm, I'm thinking of uh, just numbering them all pulling number out of, a, out of whatever and starting stitching on it and my carry around whips. I was kind of thinking of sort of doing them a week about or something but I think I might just concentrate on the Christmas at home one and then um, I'll move back onto the under the sea one after that. I think I'll just get uh, the Christmas one done first. Um, but that's it. Um, I probably have missed some stuff. That's life. That's me. And uh, to all my new subscribers, because I have had notifications over the last few days that I've got new subscribers. Um, so, hi, welcome. Thank you for watching. Um, if you find out about me from someone else, if someone's given me a shout out, I am so behind in watching so many floss tubes. I'm trying to catch up. <clears throat> so, if someone's given me a shout out, Thank you. Can you let me know and I'll I'll go and thank them personally. Um, I'm trying to think who I've, I have been watching. Um, I've caught up with Kay pretty much. Um, Adele, you're needing a new one. Um, Priscilla and Chelsea, I've been watching them. Their finishes are just uh, different. Um, I mean, I, I, you know, that that's as adventurous as I got was turning one into a cushion. But some of their finishes are just amazing and I was wandering through one of our charity shops the other day because I thought I'd go and have a nosy and they actually had a metal, I think, I don't know if it's meant to be like a, a, a coat hanger or what it was meant to be, but it was metal, it had a little mirror up the top and oh, and it just, I instantly thought of Priscilla and Chelsea but I'm not quite that confident to buy it and I probably should have and figured something to put into it because it was only three pounds. I might go back and see if they've still got it. Um, but I'm not quite confident enough to do turning stitching into that, but we'll see. Um, and channel watching, it depends if my partner's sitting down the stairs with me. I'm pretty much caught up on Outlander. I need to watch that today. Um, my partner's been watching The Waking Dead. He keeps, oh God, honestly, 
I'm, because I'm busy concentrating on my stitching, I'm not actually watching what's going on. Because, yeah, things come out, the zombies jump out at you. You're going to get a fright and all you, all of a sudden all you get is him going, Aah! Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time that I've actually put my earphones in and listened to my book. Or tried to catch up on YouTube. Um, what else? Stranger Things, the second season's just started. I haven't sat and watched that. I might try and blitz watch that tomorrow. Um, or if I don't, I'll watch it because I'm night shift, so I'll watch it on my breaks. Grey's Anatomy's started. I have not caught up with that at all yet. I know it hasn't started and I don't think it started over here. It's usually a few weeks after it comes out in the States, it comes out over here. I get it online because I don't have Sky, but I haven't. I think I've got four episodes to catch up on and that. I haven't had time to actually sit down and do that. And what else? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. There's not much on at the moment. All the sort of Christmas viewing will, will start in the next few weeks. There'll be new shows come out. And that's it. If I talk any more, this video is going to be too long. So thank you for watching. Uh, we'll try and not leave it as long the next time. And I'll show you what I've got the next time. See you later. Bye.